Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update. I've had to sort of improvise a bit today because I'm about to go and speak at an event in the Butcher's Hall in, in London. Uh, so I just had to find a, a sort of quiet corner uh, to try and get away from all of the noise. Um, today, the 4th of February, of course, it is the start of the Big Farmland Bird Count and it's such a privilege for us to sponsor uh, the GWCT event. Please do get involved. We had a record number of farmers involved last year and it'd be great to go beyond what we achieved last year. We're so up against it sometimes and probably I think what frustrates farmers most uh, is you know the, the challenges we get, albeit from the minority, but... We can't defend ourselves unless we have the evidence behind what we're doing. And for me, last weekend was a, was a busy weekend in the media, a real chance to showcase what we're doing on farm, the ambition for the future and, and rebut, if you like, the negative. So I had an opinion piece in The Observer and an opinion piece in The Daily Telegraph, both out on Sunday. And I was really pleased, too, to see my letter in response to Ben Goldsmith's letter in The Times published. Um, ben Goldsmith very much talking about the reintroduction of, of uh, species, also rewilding, taking land out of production, something that we feel very strongly. We're not against rewilding. If individual farmers want to do that, that's, that's all well and good. But I think the focus comes with taking land out of production. The line I keep on saying is, what about the people? You know, this is about landowners and this is about tenants too. What about the people that are farming those areas of, of land? For us, it's all about uh, producing food, producing fibres, producing green energy and caring for the environment as one, not a binary approach to either or, which is the point I made in, in my response in The Times. So we will continue, as always, agriculture right at the top of the list in the media, and we will continue to, to challenge uh, where we need to, but also to ramp up the, the great opportunity that our sector has to drive the changes, effectively, that society uh, needs to see. Anyway, it's a, it's a bit of a short one uh, today, I'm afraid, because I need to get off and, and do my speaking slot very soon. But as ever, please do take care. Please look after yourselves. And I really look forward to speaking to you again next week. Many thanks.